Ah, listen to that alarm ring. You guys know what sound that means, and we are back here in Superliminal checking out the episode Dollhouse. So let's go ahead and turn that alarm off. As we progress, thank you so much for coming out and checking out this Tooth and Scrubs video. I know you guys have been loving these Superliminal videos. It's an exciting puzzle building game or puzzle solving game, I guess. And we got a different start this time. We're not going straight out into the office like we normally do. Looks like we're heading into, what is this, like a, oh, we got a movie theater, okay. A little in-home movie theater, in-office movie theater with some clouds playing in the background. Let's go ahead and, uh, looks like we can go down this way and we got some, like some nice soothing music in the background. Is that what that is? All right, and we got a water fountain with a, about us. Hello, I am Dr. Glenn Pierce. Ah, oh, we love that voice. Um, Sam the Sculpt, blah, 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 blah. Well, if you guys want to read that, you can pause the video. Uh, we don't need to stop and read that. That sounds like a bunch of nothing. Anyways, let's head in here into our little movie theater room. Nice, relaxing clouds. Anything behind the chair? Nope, nothing. Can't pick up anything here. All right, let's head out this door. Oop. Guess the clouds aren't always running. And we got our first message from Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. All right, thanks, Doc. And it looks like we are coming back into the office that we know and love here in Superliminal. Got a little chess game going on the computer, but we can't interact with it. And we've got our soda machine. What soda? Let's pick random soda today. And what did we get? I can't quite read it. Let's bring it over here. And it literally is a random soda. All right, and we'll put that in the trash can like we normally do. There we go, now it's in the trash can, perfect. And out of the office we go, and it looks like we're we're hopping down here first. Yeah, all right, nice long fall. I like the fall sound effect, that whoosh, the wind whooshing, whooshing around you. And, um, yeah, just like the episode name is, Dollhouse, can we interact with it? Yes, and it looks like there's our door, so we gotta make ourselves a nice big dollhouse there to walk through. Let's make it really big. Maybe too big. Wow, this is huge. I think I already, yep, got that fire extinguisher there, perfect. And can we make this jump? No, I bet you, how do we get across? I bet you we have to make the dollhouse small but not so small we can't go through the door. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and make this smaller, probably about this size. Yeah, there we go. Now we should be able to jump up there. Very nice. And jump up we do, and we'll grab that fire alarm switch there. Nothing we can interact here, but we got another vending machine. We took random last time, we'll take baking, and it sounds like the machine's broken, so nothing for us this time, what a shame. All right, we've got a door over here, but we are way too big to get into it. Uh, anything else we can interact with? Not that I see. But we have... Didn't we just... Oh, we got the dollhouse again. So we could probably change the size of the dollhouse. So we need to get... If we need to get through that door, we need this to be big so we become small, right? Yeah, there we go. Now let's see if we're small enough to make it through that door. Uh, how do we... How are we gonna get, oh, we can climb up the, the furniture here, or the suitcases here. Boom, boom, and one more, up there we go, and through the door we make it. And we got a uh, another stereo, but I think we can interact with it, yeah. So no message from Doc this time. Hopefully we get another message from him here soon, because we do love hearing from him. Nothing behind the door. All right, and so let's go ahead and go through this. We got a TV here that's just static, kind of like what we saw in the, the movie room to start. Ah, here we go. What's Doc got to say this time? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. All right, it sounds like we're receiving this message in error. What do we got down here? Another box, nothing in this door. Nope, we're good there. So let's go ahead and, well, that TV's unplugged and is causing this to spark. 
interesting. I don't think that's how it happens, but I am not an electrical engineer by any sorts. Uh, okay, we got that light moving for no particular reason. Can we climb back here? Nope, nothing back here. Uh, but we have this door over here we can go through. Oh, we got a Jenga tower. Look at that. With a door up there. So can we... Can we, like, climb or push on the blocks? No. What do we got in the rest of the room here? Nothing so far that we can interact with. Well, while I'm wandering around this room, if you guys have been enjoying this content, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. And if you don't mind, uh, leave me a comment on down below who you are, where you're from, what's going on. It's Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. If you got any big plans, go ahead and share those. Uh, hopefully you're getting out and not just watching my YouTube videos. Enjoy the, the sunshine. It is, I'm looking out my window here. It looks like a nice day outside. So once I finish this up, I think I'm going to hit up the gym and uh, then go for a nice walk outside. Ah, can we move the fan? We can move the fan. Making a very nice noise. Let's see, can we make it big enough to maybe blow the blocks over? All right, we just got to spin it here. Uh, let's spin that right there. We'll drop that. And there it goes. It pushes the Jenga blocks over. And we can hop over and get in through that door. Even though they're all the way over here now. Hopefully the blocks didn't block the door. Nope, we should be good there. And uh, yeah, here we go. Alright, made it through the Jenga blocks. Uh, what do we got? We got some windows that look out into hallways. Nothing we can do there. Nothing in the cleaning cart. Let's see, nothing there. Oh, we can interact with this. Oh, we can interact with this window. Okay, I wonder. Yeah, we can make it big enough and go through there. Uh, let's check out everything else. Make sure we're not missing anything. That door won't open either. Okay, so my guess is we have to hop through this window here. And we're going to be the super small person now. Uh, but that's okay. All right. And we, oh, and we got a super small door to go through. Can we interact with the suitcase and the trash can? Nope. Anything behind this? Nope. All right, so let's go ahead and head through that door and see what our next puzzle is here in Superliminal. Looks like we're heading into a locker room. And we got a thermostat we can't mess with. Speaking of the gym, be here very soon. All right, let's go ahead and see what Doc has to say. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Oh, interesting. So we're kind of, uh, kind of rotating here. Can I hop? I can't quite hop up there. Okay, I wonder if we're not supposed to go up there, but that's cool. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let's keep heading through the locker room. Can't interact with the towels or anything, can we? Nope, nothing there. Looks like we're going out into a pool area. Ah, it is an empty pool. Um, interesting doorway there. Um, and we need to get through here so we can make this bigger, it looks like. Can I go anywhere else? Nope, not that I can see. So, oops, we gotta make this even bigger now. Still don't think that's big enough. Let's try that, there we go. All right, and through the door we go. And where are we at? We are in some sort of utility room. Keep out. Looks like we're going through this vent here. And we're looking out over the pool area. And there's the door it looks like we got to get to. Can we Can we do something like no, we don't want that now. We want that. There we go. Now we should be able to hop right out the door. And let's see here. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay, um, there we go, just like that. Perfect, but can we, is there anything else we need to like look at? I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a touch smaller so we can move around. So there's the vent we were looking through. We could dive down, but we don't wanna do that because I don't think we could get back up here. Okay, back this way we go. Very nice indeed. I like the music. Very, very soft, soothing. Doc's got another message. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you 
for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations! Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. All right, 823. We must have set some sort of record. Can we mess with this piano? Yes, we can, but we're not very good. Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, anything else we can mess around with? Nope. All right. Go through this door here. And we're in a, a fairly sizable room. So this is the door we came out of. We got this small door and it looks like we got to probably get through there. So if we go through this door now, okay, now we're kind of on the smaller side of things. So if we need to get big enough to reach that, how would we do this? We need to make this bigger, right? And then we need to go through this door. So now we're big and we can almost see through the keyhole. Oh, there's like a chest set out there. See that? Look at that. Do one more jump there. There we go. Um, okay, so I need to now to make this one bigger than that. Um, there we go. One more time here, hopefully. Make this really big. Not quite bigger than that one yet. All right, make that bigger there. There we go. Okay, so let's go through this door. Whoa! Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen, but it did. Um, I wonder, oh wait, hold on. Let's take this and can we, let's make it small. Can I put it up here? Uh, I don't know where it went, but it went through the keyhole. Can we see through the... Okay, we're through, nice. Um, where's the keyhole at? Is it up here? Somehow, oh, there's the keyhole. Okay, so it got shot all the way through. I don't know if that's what we were supposed to do, but that's that's what we did. We're now here on the chest set. Um, I like the theme of the chest in this game, the, the, the pawn or whatever that was, or was it a bishop that was following us around the last episode and we had to chase him backwards? That was a pretty cool idea. Let's go around here and see, is this like some sort of box? Like a memory box maybe? Um, I don't think we want to fall off the chest set here. All right, what do we got back here? Yeah, the hinges of the box are back here. Uh, and we got a dollhouse over there, it looks like again, what we can interact with. Uh, and we're in some a little room here. Okay, so let's just, uh, here we go. Instead of going all the way across, we'll bring the dollhouse over see if we can make it big enough for ourselves here to just walk right through that door. Perfect, and we are, looks like we're at the end of the level here on Dollhouse. Okay, I like that. The change in your sizes and things like that to, to get where you need to go. All right, uh, five to six dreams is the absolute limit. We've already kind of talked about that. Dr. Glenn Pierce has said that a couple times to us. Uh, we have a fire alarm switch here we need to grab. We'll go ahead and grab that. And let's hop in the elevator and end the episode thank you so much for coming out and watching this tooth and scrubs video here in super liminal i know you guys have been enjoying it so if you have don't forget to like subscribe to the channel so you get all this great content on time in an early fashion and if you don't mind maybe share it with a, a friend or two and say hey you know you might like this it's how we grow the channel we had ourselves a nice little spike uh in subscribers i think we hit like 341 subscribers at the time of this recording so i'm pretty happy with that as this alarm is going off in the background at 3 a.m. and we used to be at like 6 or 7 a.m. so I don't know what that means. So you'll have to come back and find out why it's 3 a.m. here in Superliminal.